Hi everyone, it's this Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking our time to join me today. I am back to share my spare binders haul with you guys. If this is your first time joining me today, I want to welcome you here to my channel and thank you so much for taking our time to click on my video. And also hoping that you choose to stick around by subscribing to my channel if you love the content that's here on my videos. In addition to that, any returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. And I really appreciate your continued YouTube support. Welcome. So today I am sharing my Spellbinders haul with you guys. I ordered these items a while ago and it's taken some time for Spellbinders to get them shipped to me. Um, as I know, they are really behind on getting their shipping out. And so now I'm just now getting my video um, to you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and share as soon as I got it. So one of the first items I'm going to start off with is this item here. They had a really huge sale on their um, website of so many great items. And one of the items that I saw was the dust covers. They had two different ones. They had this canvas print here and they had another one that is very similar to this design here but just in a different color. I believe it might have been like a green color but I went with this one since it was the closest to my craft room color. And so this item right here actually is for your spellbinder machine to cover it to keep dust from getting on it. But I got it in hopes that it will fit my Gemini machine and I have the biggest Gemini as well as the smallest Gemini you know there are three different Gemini sizes and I got this cover and this is what the cover looks like it's made out of a fabric a real nice canvas fabric um, so you can tell it's really uh, well made and it has the Spellbinders logo on the front of it as you can see and this is in leather really nice and then it also has the leather trim going around it now on the sides you will see that that's how that's made there as well as on this side it has like a little velcro stitch on this side right here for you to be able to readjust and close this up on the very top you have this little area right here I believe in hopes to help you to lift up the dust cover from your machine on the back of the dust cover, you also have a pocket that you can store some booklets or different tools in if you choose to do that. Now I did try this on my biggest Gemini machine and my die cutting machine and it did work just fine. And so I'm really happy that I took the chance to go ahead and grab this item as a dust cover for one of my die cutting machines. This worked really wonderful. And I'm really happy with this. So you have heard it here on Memory Lane Keepsakes that this Spellbinders cover will fit your largest Gemini machine. So I'm really happy about that. And so I wanted to just definitely share that with you all. And now I'm also going to share some other items that I picked up that was already on sale as well. So I went ahead and I picked up some of the Silk Luster. This one right here is the Cool Caribbean. And this one right here, I love this for splatters, um, to be able to do splatters on my cards and um, different creations that I make. This is what it looks like right here. It looks like a um, bottle of nail polish, but it isn't. And it has this really beautiful silk luster look when you just have to shake it and mix it a little bit there. And then you can do like this flicking technique that will add a little splatters to your artwork. I've shared different splatters from the Silk Luster before and different other products that I have in my stash. But this is really awesome. I love that. That's a beautiful color. And then I also got it in this beautiful Luscious Lime as well. And this is what that looks like. And so this one has more of like your gold and lime green here. Really beautiful. I just love the way that looks. And so these two colors together are going to be so pretty. And let me know in the comments if you like to use the paint splatters with your silk luster and what other different things do you use to do your paint splatters. 
they had a good amount of Jane Davenport items on sale as well and so this right here I have um, picked up the shimmer pastel so I got this one right here which is a beautiful color and this one right here is um, I love the fact that it has the gold and some of the different skin tone colors in there and that beautiful bright pink color really beautiful and so I got that one there and then I also picked up this one right here this is another shimmer pastel this is make a splash really pretty and you can see what those colors look like so they were really great prices so if that's something that you're looking for these would be great to do the faces of the dolls that I love to create and do here on my channel I also picked up some of the Jane Davenport dyes I got this one right here this one is called mermaid tail swatch and this one comes with four pieces absolutely wonderful I love the fact that you have the stamp here as well as the dyes that come with it and you will notice that on the back here they show you some example of some tags I thought this would be really cute to create some um, tag swatches for some of the different colors and inks that I have in my stash um, to be able to give it more of a design as well instead of your plain ordinary tags and so I love the Jane Davenport line anyway so this also um, was really great to actually add to my collection of her items that I already have so that's what that looks like I also picked up this Jane Davenport item here this one here is the templates this is called Queen for a Day and these are all just the dies here so you have your crown right here and then you also have um, the word queen and then some other items on here um, that are a part of this die set that I thought was really nice and you can see what they look like when they're cut out right there really nice the dies cut really really well and they are so much fun to be able to add to your creations now they have um, a lot of their spellbinder dies like your club of the months and some of, even some of the stamp kits um, on sale as well and this is one that I passed on a long time ago when I was a part of their club and I went ahead and went back and got this one because it was on sale but this is one that I it has a few good amount of pieces but it's so cute once it's put together um, this um, particular die set was the September 2019 small die of the month um, this is the Ikabu and it has all of these dies on here it comes with 11 dies and on the back you're able to create your Halloween little um, dolls here and so I thought that would be really neat um, to definitely add to my collection here and so it takes a little time because there are a lot of pieces some people don't like to use a lot of pieces but they the end result is rewarding for real so I really wanted something like this as you can see you'll have a skeleton you'll have a ghost and then you have some pumpkins on there as well so this is going to be really really neat And then I also picked up this one right here and this one was a little pricey but I really like this one. This one is called Have Your Cake and of course I have to add that and eat it too even though it doesn't say that but <laughs> it goes along with the saying. This is the large die of the month which is September 2020 and this has 23 cutting dies included in this set here. Now this is gorgeous because you can switch this up and do it so many different type of ways and this is what it looks like when you finish this um, die set here and this would be great for birthday cards you can do wedding cakes um, a dessert layout just really really neat um, so I went ahead and picked this up right here and this is what it looks like and you can uh, switch it up any type of way you choose to when you're cutting these dies up to make whatever um, cake that you would like and even enclose it with the candles it has the cream and you saw the fruit that it comes with and even some die cut words which is really unique so I got that one and now I also picked up a bunch of their steel rule dies a lot of their dies were on sale and I was really happy about this because the die prices were wonderful but normally when you get a steel rule die you're looking at about um, 20 maybe $30 a piece for a steel rule die what's so great about a steel rule die is the fact that you can cut multiple different types of material anything from your chipboard to your felt 
um, just hard duty materials, which I really love to be able to get the effect and the shapes and the designs that you're trying to get. And then you know that you have to have a certain cutting machine in order to be able to do that. Now I use my um, my Spellbinders. Um, well, I don't have the Spellbinders die cutting machine. Um, I actually use the the Sizzit Big Shop machine is what I use for mine. But they do have a Spellbinders die machine out there on the market as well as a lot of other heavy duty machines. There are so many cutting ones. You have to find the one that you really like and what purpose you're going to be using it for. And so this is one of the dies that I got right here. It's called Hetsy and Friends. And this one has um, a lot of different shapes, as you can see. It has the diamond shape, the triangle, the octagon, as well as the circle. And so I went ahead and picked this up. Um, so, um, a hexagon, excuse me. And so I went ahead and picked this up right here because I really like the different shapes because you can take these and make a lot of unique things with these shapes. And you'll be able to see the different shapes here on the back here. Um, basically what happens is the die arrays up and it'll cut out those images that's on the front there. And so that's really, really neat in itself. So I went ahead and got this one here. And then I also picked up this one right here, which is called Darling Daisies. So this is another one that I got. Darling Daisies um, have these flower petals on the front as well as it cuts out the center um, piece of the flower. And this is really neat because, again, you can cut different materials. And it's a pretty decent size, so you can make a lot of great things with that one. So I'm really happy about that. And then we have this one right here. It's called Leaf Me Alone. And this one cuts out the leaf as well as some additional flowers. This one is really neat as well. So I really love the way that this one right here looks because you can cut out the leaves as well as the different flowers. And the leaf is a really decent size, which is really cool. Um, so this is going to be a great die to play around with as well. And I'm loving the fact that I have the option to cut those different materials by these steel rule dies, giving you um, so many variations of materials to play along with. This is called Oopsie Daisy. So this is another one right here that has two flowers and a leaf on it, which is really nice. And you can see how they um, used it to make this flower right here, which is really great. And this one is um, three by three by one and three eighths in size. Last but not least, I also have this one right here, which is a bigger die than I expected it to be. Um, this one actually cuts out a tote. So it cuts it and it also scores it as well. So you can see how large this one is. And it's really cool because it does cut the tote. And you'll be able to use this um, even for some favorite um, baskets, which would be really neat and cool. Um, so I went ahead and picked this one up. This is a pretty large die. This is 4 inches by 5 and 3 eighths by 2 inches. So you have to have a huge machine for this one here. Now looking at this, I don't think I have the right die um, machine, die cutting machine to be able to cut this out. But thank goodness one of my crafty friends do. So I definitely tried on there and see how I like it. But it it's a pretty decent size as I mentioned. It does take up a little space here. But those are all the dies that I picked up. And you guys can go over and check out spellbinders.com. And just see what you can find that you may even had on your list for a great deal. And I'm so happy that I was able to get on there and find such great, wonderful items. I have some more coming that have not reached me yet. And so I'll be coming back at a later time to show that whenever it gets here. Um, so I want to thank you guys so much for taking out time to join me today to see what I have been shopping for online. And let me know in the comments um, what kind of things you like to shop for when you are going to spellbinders.com. This is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes. Continue to be blessed as always and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and also check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Bye-bye.